when it comes to treatment, you can think of as two main components of treatment. One is targeting the immune system so that you prevent future attacks and disability accumulation. And that is probably one of the major decisions you make uh, with the patient, uh, choosing the right treatment so that you prevent future attacks and future disability accumulation. The second part is what we call is symptom management. People with MS will have a lot of other neurological symptoms like pain or spasticity or bladder issues, uh, fatigue. All this component needs uh, uh, like a multidisciplinary approach to help each component. The treatment of MS, of course, uh, the acute attacks. An MS attack is where you have uh, some sort of neurological deficit from a lesion in any part of the central nervous system. Typically, it can be optic neuritis, where you lose vision for several days to weeks, then regain it, or it can be a strength in your arms or legs, or it can be difficulty with coordination, or it can be uh, an episode where you have uh, trouble with uh, vision, like double vision, lasting for several days, then get better. You typically treat them with uh, intravenous uh, steroids for acute attacks and then the major decision in the outpatient clinic is usually to start somebody on a disease modifying therapy uh, when I say disease modifying therapy this medication is going to help uh, change the course of the disease if we were not to treat it we have the older generation injectables that patients can self-administer at home then we have pill forms that can be taken once or twice a day then we also have infusions a monoclonal antibiotic bodies somewhat very, very high efficacious that can be administered at home or at an infusion center. Majority of these medication affect the immune system, some in a certain way that may not cause major side effects, but sometimes some of these medication can increase the risk of infection. So we need to tailor uh, each patient's uh, requirement uh, in keeping with the uh, side effect profile of the medication. All the medications that are approved by FDA have shown to uh, prevent the attacks of MS. And some of these medications, they also, uh, you know, in large observational studies, people have shown that people who are on these medications, uh, they did much uh, better compared to those who are not on any treatment over a period of, say, 10, 15 years. Again, we, we don't have cure for MS as yet, and that is the hope uh, down the line uh, as we understand about the immune system better and the mechanism of progression in MS. The disease modification therapy are, are going to slow that process, uh, if not reverse, this, uh, reverse it completely. The patient should always talk to their neurologist about what is expected uh, from the medication, like. Uh, what is the side effect profile for sure, so that they can understand that risk benefit profile and keeping in light with their disease burden. I think that's probably the most important one because if you don't like the medicine or if you think you're not going to tolerate the medicine, then it's not going to work because you're not going to take it. Time is brain and we want to prevent uh, this damage to the brain from the, uh, the MS disease process. And although I bring up this risk profile, but in, in the bigger picture, we currently have medications that can slow the progression and that most of our patients can have near normal lifestyle with that. So a couple of things that the patients can do. Oftentimes, MS symptoms fluctuate a lot, especially due to environmental factors like exposure to heat or stress or an infection. So over a period of time, patients can identify the triggers that can make their MS symptoms worse and prevent those factors. There is no proven diet that could modify MS disease course, but there is a lot of interest and research going on. What we know so far is whatever is good for the heart is good for the brain. So any diet that's going to help with the cardiovascular health, like Mediterranean diet, is going to be beneficial to MS as well. In terms of other lifestyle factors, probably stopping smoking is going to slow the disability you know, progression in MS, and a uh, good exercise regimen is going to help patients with MS. Physical exercise, we know that it's good for the cardiovascular health and brain health, but it looks like it's probably also uh, going to affect the immune system in a favorable way.